Happy January, Santa Clara. We are officially in 2024. What's been going on with mortgage rates? I've noticed a seven week decrease week over week from our heights. The end of October around Halloween, the 10 year treasury yield had just breached that 5% threshold. And now when I checked this morning, we were around that 3.9%. So we had seven weeks of steady decreases. And over the past week, we've had a slight increase. And so what does that mean for the uh, the mortgage rates, especially the, the 30 year mortgage rate, the quintessential American mortgage that the vast majority of folks take out the 30 year fixed rate. I'm seeing mortgage rates in the 6.5%. Now, what does that mean for Santa Clara home prices? We're gonna get into that. But before I do, I wanted to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. During the holiday season, I had the great opportunity to participate in the firehouse run with my Rotary Club, the Santa Clara Rotary Club. Uh, my son was able to attend, he's three years old, and he did his first race and got a medal. So it was a great opportunity for us to get out there and benefit, support Santa Clara public schools, which I was very grateful to do. So let's get into the median home prices for single family homes and condos and townhomes and how that's all changing month over month so the last time i checked this morning we were at 1.69 million for the median list price for a single family home in santa clara now let's remember folks that's including 95050 95051 and 95054 north of 101 that's all three zip codes in santa clara in December, I had reported 1.85 million. So we're down a bit over $150,000 month over month. Now, while I get into these numbers, I do want you to know, since we have such a low amount of inventory during the holiday season, and even in January, that these numbers can be a little skewed. So please take it with a grain of salt. My Calendly link is at the bottom of this video. So if you want anything that's a little bit more accurate, a little bit more pertaining to your specific neighborhood, Book a time to chat with me and I'd gladly answer any of your questions that you have. But let's get back to the data. So that 1.69 million was the median list price. Now, what does that mean for the price per square foot? That calculates out to $1,097. While in December, I had reported 1,128. So clearly we're down on that as well. The median days of the market, it shot up a lot, a little over two and a half times. In December, I had reported 35 days for the average single family home sitting on the market. Right now we're more at 84. Now that's just because we have some outliers that have been sitting there for a while. So those numbers are gonna be a little bit more exaggerated. So again, noticing with my theme, please keep that uh, with a grain of salt. Price reductions, we're at 24% for the month of January. December, I had reported 14%. So we're up about 10% to 24%. So about um, you know a fourth of the homes that are hitting the market. From the time they go on the market to the time they get into contract, that duration of time, around a quarter of those are taking a price cut before they get into contract. There were 17 single family homes in the whole city last time I checked while in December we were at 21 so clearly the inventory is a little bit lower and going back to what I said earlier it's going to skew the uh, the data a little bit one side or, or the other an interesting listing I wanted to, uh, to bring up to you my father had a listing on Tulip Tree that's in the San Tomas Woods neighborhood that's a very very exclusive area of Santa Clara my rule of thumb for the town is you know the further south you go generally your price per square foot is going to increase your home values are going to increase that's usually because you're going to get closer to that Cupertino Union School District. And as we all know, when you have Santa Clara proper with the great utility costs, and then you have the Cupertino, you know, world renowned essentially uh, school district, well, you know, you're gonna get into some higher values. So Santa Tomas Woods is a very exclusive area. And that property he put on the market just shy of 2 million and it sold for 2.6 million. So that was $600,000 above asking price. And he got dozens of offers on that property. So as you can see, even with a higher interest rate environment that we're dealing with, you know, relative to COVID, of course, not relative to the past 20 years, but relative to the past, let's say five years, when a home is out there that folks are interested in, they're sitting on the, on the fences and they're pouncing on it. And clearly, as you can see, that one's selling for over $630,000 above asking price. Now that was the single family homes. Now let's get into the condos and townhomes. The median list price for the average condo and townhome that I've seen hit in the market is $698,000. While in December I had reported $819,000, so we're down a bit from that, around you know 120K or so. And the price per square foot calculates out to $772, while in December we were at $819, so again, down a bit. 
The median days on the market for those set condos and townhomes are 42 days right now. Well, in December, we were at 25 days. So properties are sitting a little bit longer than they were, you know, about a month ago. And the price reduction is 21%. So a fifth of those properties are essentially taking a price cut before they get into contract. While in December, we were at 25%. 14 condos and townhomes were available in the town uh, when I, last time I checked this morning. While in December, we were at 20. So again, just like the single family homes, we are in a lower inventory market in January. And overall, as the, the same thing for the condos and townhomes, as I've noticed for the single family homes, there's been a, a decrease in demand for those properties month over month. That can be for a few different reasons. Folks can be traveling for the holidays. You know, as the rates kind of ticked up towards the end of the month, maybe some people could have gotten pushed out of the uh, the market. But again, if you look at it, like from, a, from the beginning of Q4 to the end of Q4, rates have come down around a percent and a half. So purchasing power has still elevated itself. The amount of uh, purchase applications for mortgages has, has increased a good amount as well from that I've noticed. Overall, folks, I love chatting about these things. My father started working in this town in the 80s. I've been working with him for a better part of a decade in Santa Clara. I love this town. I'm a brand ambassador with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, I've been with the Santa Clara Rotary Club for years now. My calendar link is at the bottom of this video. If you folks have any questions, whether it's about properties or Santa Clara or not, even outside of Santa Clara, or if you're curious of uh, forecasts of you know what we're seeing into Q1 up to Q4 of 2024 with rates and how that will affect home prices. These are things that are researched literally seven days a week. So I love being able to chat with you about these things and deliver you that value. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to book a time to chat with me and I can answer all your questions that you have. I appreciate you watching this video and more next month in February. Thank you so much.